Hello, in this video I'll be introducing the equation net force equals mass times acceleration, also known as F equals MA. This equation is a special case of Newton's second law. A common mistake students sometimes make when using this equation is that they forget that F equals MA refers to the net force. In a moment I'll show you a couple of examples that will help to illustrate this idea of it being the net force. First though, let's look at a special case of F equals MA that only applies when the object we're referring to is accelerating due to free fall. On that occasion, our acceleration becomes g. We still have a mass and we call the resultant force weight. Now this is an equation you may have been using for many years without really realising it. Lower down in school, you converted mass to weight by multiplying by 10. Of course, at this higher level, we understand that it's not actually 10. The acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 metres per second squared. So if we want to convert from mass to weight, mass measured in kilograms and weight measured in newtons, we need to multiply by the acceleration due to gravity, which is measured in the unit of acceleration, metres per second squared. We can also take this opportunity to define the newton. In both the equation F equals MA and W equals MG, we can see that a newton is the force required to accelerate a mass of one kilogram at a rate of one meters per second per second, or one meter per second squared. Let's take a look at an example. In this first problem, we have a lift or elevator with a total mass of 500 kilograms and it is accelerating up the lift shaft at 1.5 meters per second squared. The question is, what is the tension in the rope pulling the lift up the shaft? Well, to look at this, first of all, we have to label all of the forces acting on the lift. So as well as the tension pulling the lift up the shaft, we have a weight acting down. We know from earlier that weight is equal to mass multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, W equals mg. So now we have our system fully labelled. We know that the net force is equal to mass times acceleration. So to find the net force, we need to subtract one force from the other. So because we've got the acceleration drawn upwards, we're going to assume that this tension is larger. So net force equals MA, which is equal to the tension, we take away the weight, which is MG. And now we can rearrange this to get tension. So tension is equal to MA plus MG, which if we'd like to, we can simplify to M multiplied by A plus G. And we know that M is 500 kilograms. We know that A is 1.5 meters per second squared. And we know that G is 9.81 meters per second squared. So this gives us a final value for T of 5,655 newtons. So that is the tension in the rope. Let's take a look at a slightly trickier problem here. In this problem, we have a two kilogram mass resting on a table, and it is connected to a one kilogram mass hanging over the end of the table. And the rope is over a frictionless pulley, which means that no force is required to overcome that friction. The question in this example is, what is the acceleration of the box on the desk? Well, actually, the acceleration will be the same for both boxes because they are connected by this rope. The easiest way to look at this is to divide the problem into two separate parts, part one and part two, and consider the two systems separately. So first of all, system one, we have a two kilogram mass and it is being accelerated along the desk at A, and the only force acting on this block is an unknown tension force 
pulling it to the right. So we'll label that T. We know that our net force is equal to MA. I'm going to call it M1A here so we don't get mixed up between our two masses. And in this example, there is only one force acting and that is the tension. So our net force M1A is equal to the tension T. Let's take a look at system two. In system two, we have a one kilogram mass, which is accelerating down at a rate A that we would like to find out. We know that there's a tension in a rope pulling the mass upwards, T. That T is gonna be the same as the T we found earlier because it's one rope. And we know that there is a weight acting on the one kilogram mass m2 g because this is mass 2 let's call it m2 so again we can write that the net force acting on this is equal to m2 a and that that is equal to the difference between the force acting down and the force acting up so that will be m2 g take away the tension we know that the tension is equal to M1A, so we can substitute that in here. And that will give us M2A equals M2G take away M1A. Let's group our A terms together. So we have M2A plus M1A is equal to M2G. You can factorize that M1 plus M2 or multiplied by A is equal to M2G. In a moment, let's just rearrange one last time. So the acceleration is equal to M2G divided by M1 plus M2. So we know that the mass of mass 2 is 1 kilogram, so 1 multiplied by 9.81 divided by the sum of the two masses, 1 kilogram plus 2 kilograms is 3 kilograms. So our final answer becomes 9.81 divided by 3, which is 3.27 metres per second squared.